I'm Andrew, and I'm setting out to make better videos for diesel enthusiasts. Follow along as I review products, do how-tos, and share my personal trucks here on Just Diesels. All right, we are back again with another update on the second gen build. So I've got my hands full right now. I've got the third gen and the second gen both getting stuff, but it has been long overdue for the second gen to finally get suspension. I've had stuff on order for a very long time. So we are finally, finally, finally gonna get the suspension upgraded on the second gen. So I took this thing down to CJC off-road to give it the pin top treatment. So shout out once again to the TJC guys for, as always, killing it. They did my third gen build originally when I had that truck done, did the Carly Dominator system on there. Here they are, again, doing the pin top on the second gen. But yeah, awesome work, hands down, best shop to go to for Carly install. So let's talk a little bit about what's on this truck, what suspension systems on this truck. And I say system because I think it's really important. People always think of suspension as pieces, right? I always hear online like, oh, your ride's bad, do shocks, or oh, your ride's bad, do springs but it's a system, it's supposed to work together. And so what I did for this truck was basically kind of assemble all the parts that I thought were the absolute best on the market to improve the ride on this truck as a complete system. So let's kind of run through what's on this truck from front to back. You're gonna notice I did some brand mixing on this truck. So it's actually a mix of Carly and Thurin products. So the suspension itself is gonna be mostly Carly, and then there's a couple auxiliary parts that are gonna be by Thurn. So starting from front to back, uh, up front I have the Thurn Torsion Sway Bar. This is gonna be a sway bar that Thurn makes for the second gen trucks that run from 99 to 2002. So unfortunately, 12 valve guys, the sway bar does not fit your truck due to the axle mounts. You can make it work if you're a fabricator, but um, essentially it's the axle mounts that are gonna be different. So this sway bar is a huge improvement on these trucks, and I actually had this on the truck before this Carly pin top system went on. So if you noticed in the original video where I kind of did my part one debut of this truck of the wheels, tires, all that stuff, I had this sway bar on there. It's a huge thing to improve the ride quality in this truck because the factory sway bar rate is so stiff. So this one dramatically lessens the front sway bar rate, which means that the front axle can actually move and articulate independently so that you're not getting jostled around, thrown side to side anytime the front axle has to move. It actually lets the truck flex. So with the factory sway bar on, if I went to flex the truck out, all the flex is coming out of the rear leaf springs. Now the front end can actually work, move over obstacles and do what it's supposed to do. Now, speaking of working and doing what it's supposed to do, um, what's also on this truck is now the Carly three inch pin top system. So that consists of Carly's three inch front progressive rate coil springs, also has Carly's front control arm. And then of course, Carly's two and a half inch diameter King pin top shocks. Now all that stuff's gonna work together to pull an amazing 10 inches of travel out of the front end of the truck. I think it's actually like 10.3 or 10 and a half inches of travel, which is wild out of a second gen. So you're almost doubling front suspension travel, but more importantly, you're getting a tuned spring and shock combination. So that setup is gonna really dramatically improve ride and that is where your ride quality improvement comes from, is the coil and shock combo, or I guess spring and shock combo, assuming the rear as well. If you just do shocks or you just do coils, you're completely missing out because the spring is going to determine the spring rate or essentially the stiffness of your ride. The shock is gonna determine the damping or the control of the ride and they're working together, right? I see all the time people think that shocks will make your ride softer and it's kind of false. Shocks can damp and control the movement of the suspension but they're not gonna change the stiffness or spring rate. Granted, if you have a shock with really aggressive valving in it, it will feel stiffer but really all that is is added damping or resistance to movement in the shock the spring is really gonna be what's changing the stiffness or felt stiffness of the ride quality of your truck. Now, of course, the part everyone's always interested about in this system is the shocks. So these are two and a half inch diameter King shock that's basically custom built for Carly by King. So it's gonna have stainless shafts, which are not standard on normal King shocks. Gonna have a completely custom piston for Carly, custom lengths that you couldn't normally get from King. And then it's also gonna have Carly's 
specific custom shim stack tuning. And that shim stack tuning is specific to the vehicle. So if I have my third gen pin tops, for example, totally different tune than the second gen pin tops because of the weight of the vehicle, because of the kinematic suspension, all that stuff. The other thing is that these have a pin top mounting style, and that's why they call them pin tops. So traditionally, King would have a through shaft bolt on both top and bottom of the shock. But the pin top, Carly had them custom make one that has a pin top mounting style, so you can use your factory towers, which is cool. So guys with aftermarket turbos, et cetera, et cetera, you can use the factory shock towers with these shocks. That's what I have on this truck is the factory shock towers. And then that's mated to a set of Carly control arms. And a lot of people look at control arms as a way just to relocate the axle to clear a tire. There's way more to it than that. So those arms, aside from setting the front axle and correcting geometry with three inch coils, are also gonna allow the front axle to be freed up, move more effectively than the factory arms that use a rubber bushing that has to literally twist each time the arm moves. So with the factory bushings or with any aftermarket arm that uses a rubber bushing, that rubber bushing literally has to twist and you have to have the resistance of that twisting motion to allow the axle to move. So if you look at these arms, they're actually gonna be using a spherical joint that's made in-house at Carly. It's a super high quality joint and it's literally completely free to move. You can take these arms and spin them around the joint 360. You could not do that with a rubber bushing arm and that's what's coming on this truck from the factory. It also comes with front reservoir mounts. I did some custom stickers for this. So it's a white and chrome King sticker, which I had custom made. And then in the back, I've got matching two and a half inch diameter Kings. Now this is where this stops. I have leaf springs for the back. So I actually ordered, I have in my hands, Carly leaf springs for the back of this truck that are made by a company called Deaver. But I opted to not install those at this point in time because I wanna make a separate video on rear leaf springs. I think a lot of people are actually interested in that. So that'd be cool to just break that off into its own video. So right now what we're gonna do is the whole front end of the truck and the rear is just gonna get shocked. So what's cool about this setup is for guys that tow haul heavy, this is a perfect recipe for a truck that has factory payload and towing specs completely untouched rear springs, but way better shocks. And the ride quality improvement is huge. So let me take you guys for a ride in the truck and kind of explain more what I'm talking about. So this weekend, my fiance and I went up to Paso Robles uh, for the weekend. And so I thought it'd be a perfect time to kind of break in the new suspension, see how it feels on the road. It literally transformed how this truck drives. It is so much more planted. Um, the two and a half inch diameter shocks, the whole reason for that big of a shock is that they have a lot more piston surface area, a lot more shim stack surface area, and so you get a lot more damping out of the shock. So even on a big dip, a big hole or something, obviously I'm not beating this truck up. I love this thing, I'm gonna baby it. You will not see me jumping this thing or taking it off-road at all, but these shocks really go a long way to help improve that, especially when towing, hauling, anything like that. The truck's gonna be so much more planted and smooth. And I already noticed that just driving up here with the Carly coils in the front, um, going over dips and things like that, instead of, you know, in places where we used to bounce and, and hop all over the road, this thing just feels completely planted, even out of the back, because the factory springs are really stiff. With these shocks on there, it's able to control that really stiff high spring rate, just keep the truck glued to the ground. So even on like big expansion joints, cracks in the, you know, highway, things like that, you know, making a long road trip, so, so much smoother, so much more pleasant to drive on this truck. So yeah, with this system on the truck, plus the 35 inch wheels and tires, and I did a whole video on tire pressure, that was about tire pressure. Now I've pretty much checked off every box, right? Now one final piece that you'll notice I didn't talk about in this video was the track bar. So you do need a track bar when doing a three or two and a half inch height system. I did not do one at this point in time because I am doing the Thurin, or I guess beta testing, the Thurin second gen track bar. So Thurin's about to release second gen track bar. At the time of filming this video, I've actually already put it on, so I can tell you it's pretty sweet, but I'm gonna do a dedicated video just for that. So we'll be catching up on that in a second. But for now, let me leave you just some glory shots of this truck. I recently drove it to Paso Robles, so I had some time to put this thing in a really cool vineyard, take some awesome beauty shots of this thing. So cue the epic B-roll.
So look, I think what's so cool about this is that we've essentially taken a truck that was made to be a farm vehicle, towing vehicle, uh, a very utilitarian, essentially rode like a wagon type truck, and we've completely transformed it. It's not cheap by any means, but these parts literally have transformed how this truck drives. It has taken it from me wincing at the smallest little imperfection on the road to me being able to completely handle whatever I could throw at this truck. At this point in the time, I could literally take this truck and jump it. That is really cool to say about a second gen because most suspension kits or lift kits or whatever for these trucks are really all about cosmetics. They're just about lifting the truck. This is a true legitimate suspension system that works together as a whole to dramatically improve ride quality. So I am super stoked on this. This has been the plan on this truck from day one. And this is why I love these Ram trucks so much is because you can go wild on the suspension, have a blast. And you essentially have an old truck that looks old from the outside, but underneath I've got the underpinnings of basically 2021 suspension technology. So I'm basically applying the best of the modern era to an old classic truck. I think that's awesome. Well guys, there you have it. That is the new and improved second gen. So at this point in time, I've got wheels, I got tires, I got full suspension on this truck. I'm pretty much working down the list. So next up is gonna be the track bar video. I'll walk you guys through the how to install that third and second gen track bar, kind of walk you through the beta testing and how it improves the ride on this truck, or I guess the handling on this truck more importantly. And then we're gonna be doing the video on leaf springs. So I'll talk about leaf springs, all the different options for these trucks, what they do, what you should do, what you shouldn't do, and how they improve ride quality. So if you have any questions, things you wanna see on this truck, let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.